Hey guys, it's Gordon with Foxfire Unlimited bringing you another unboxing video. This time it's a couple of import games. Uh, two of them you may recognize the American versions for, one of them probably not because it never came out over here. Uh, people often ask me a couple of things uh, specifically. What games would I take with me if I was stranded on a desert island and I could only take a couple of games? Um, undoubtedly, this is pretty much always one of the first things that comes to mind. Secret of Mana. And the game is amazing, but honestly, the music is phenomenal. It has one of the best soundtracks to any video game ever made. And uh, I, I really don't think anyone would argue with that. So, without further ado, these are the three games. So, starting out here, let's do Saiken Densetsu. Originally came out on the Game Boy. That's right. Secret of Mana started on the Game Boy. So there's the front of the box there. And there's the back of the box. Boxes are a lot smaller in uh, in Japan for the th these type of things. This is a DS, just for comparison there. So they, the uh, American versions boxes were about the same size as the DS cart uh, boxes. So much smaller. Uh, part of the reason is because the Japanese just don't have enough uh, living space, so they condense things down. Now, getting right to it, I don't know if I showed you the back, but there it is, a couple of interesting screenshots. In America, this game came out, and it was actually called The Final Fantasy Adventure, and uh, so we got it a couple of years after it came out, and this is a cool thing here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little tiny rabbite right on the flap there. And there's one of the, the fish knights right there on that one. So, a couple of cool little tiny things. And then there's a mush boom on the bottom part right there. And then there's one of the magic turtles right there. So, nice little thing that they threw in there. Again, back then they used to spend a lot more time on the actual games and the presentation. Uh, since it's a Game Boy game, the manual is pretty... Uh, pretty succinct in what it does. It basically just explains everything about the game like a good instruction manual should. Has the different weapons, armors, again hand-drawn pictures, uh, let's see, items, etc. and so forth. Try and not get the glare in there for you. Then uh, <laughs> this is world map. It's a very very simplified world map, but that is actually the world map. And, uh, let's see, there's some NPCs in here as well. There they are. NPCs with hand-drawn pictures. Nice little touch there. Then the game itself is basically the hilt of the sword right there. So that's the original Secret of Mana. This was not cheap, but I don't regret paying what I did for this because this is to me, a, a piece of my video gaming history, just because th that's where it all started. Then, Secret of Mana. They know it's Saiken Densetsu 2. Sorry, I don't speak Japanese. Well, not much anyway. Uh, I definitely don't read it, so I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not. The cover art for that is amazing. Plus, on the back, you'll see a bunch of little claymation figures that they made. And these appeared in Nintendo Power whenever uh, they had that three-issue strategy guide on how to beat this game, because a lot of people apparently got this game but couldn't figure it out, so... Nintendo Power made a whole special throughout... Uh, it was actually a whole... I think there were the summer issues. There's uh, like 10 or 15 pages in each one basically detailing how to beat this entire game. And I still have those issues out there. I pro probably should have grabbed them, but... Again... More little claymation there for you. Uh, the, this manual is full of great art that we've never seen. Like, that is amazing. Um, again, good, very good manuals. They just don't make this kind of stuff anymore. Let's see here. Full color screenshots, all that kind of thing. Basically explaining everything. Where is that one page? With all right. There's more of the claymation that I was talking about. And then there's the sprite over there. 
Now, the interesting thing is there's no staves in the game, so why they uh, made the sprite with a stave bigger than, than he is, I'm not quite sure. But then there's items, weapons, all the weapons. Then it goes into armor. And again, everything is hand drawn. Just very nice touches. There's all the different elements in the game for the magic. And then at the very end, shows just a little bit about how to start off the game right. Then at the very back, there's a cute little picture of the gang with Flamey. So there's that. That's the manual. The game itself. Label's a little bit different, but, you know, I think this one's a little bit more classy, whereas that one is a little bit more showy. So, there's the, uh, I'm just going to start calling these the dumbass cards, because if you don't know how to plug your system in, and you're buying another game for it, you know, you really shouldn't be playing these games. Then, uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, I'm, I didn't know that they, uh, were, that this was in my game whenever I got it. But it's an advertisement for Final Fantasy USA Mystic Quest. And uh, you can see the inside of that. It basically explains, hey, there's monsters that actually have battle damage and fully animated spells and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, this is what they made, this is what they like over in America, and apparently they don't, even though Screw you guys, I love this game. Mystic Quest kicks so much ass, I love it. I don't care. People hate me over uh, liking a game. It doesn't matter. Mystic Quest is a great way to spend a summer day with nothing else to do. So anyway, that's uh, Secret of Mana. Actually, Secret of Mana 2. Then, the big one. Never came out in America. It's Saiken Densetsu 3. I saw screenshots of this in a uh, video games magazine, one of the last issues that video games ever put out, and I flipped. I mean, I was, I, I took the video games magazine to school that day, and I didn't see it, and I was in study hall, and I almost got a detention because I screamed in, uh, in study hall. And uh, there's the back of it. A couple of screenshots, and one of the big monsters of the game. Side of the game just says I think that's Setsu 3. Super Famicom. Then on the inside, as we open it up. This manual is a little bit less detailed, but I think that's because the, there's so much in this game that is just ridiculous. Um, there's again more hand-drawn pictures and whatnot. There's a world map. How to play the actual game itself. Um, basically the same thing as any RPG manual you would expect would. Just has a whole bunch of different uh, information on the characters, the battle system, all the stats. This is the main character there. And then it has, uh, well actually there's six main characters and you can pick three of them in this game. But then there's the other ones there. So... There's that. And again, it has all the different elements for the magic. Then it goes into what the actual magics are. And it has a detailed thing of what spells are what. There's the sword. And then it goes into all the different weapons and whatnot, like the spear and all that kind of good stuff. Playing through Secret of Mana, I was always partial to the spear personally, just because... I don't know, I'm just, uh, I'm partial to spear users on the whole. Even in Dynasty Warriors, I, I can I get enough of Zhao Yun. So, there's Secret of Mana 3, the actual cart itself. And then this dumbass card is a little bit more complex, as you can see. Provided I can get the glare not there. So there's that one. And then this is kind of cool. Um, it was another advertisement in there. It's a advertisement on the one side for Front Mission Gun Hazard, which is sort of like a, uh, a uh, strategy side-scroller kind of deal. It's, it's a very interesting game if you've ever uh, actually gotten to play a ROM of it. But Then on the back, Romancing Saga 3 on Super NES. 
thinks it'd be super Famicom, but you know, hey, whatever. We're not picky in this house. So that's Secret of Mana 1, 2, and 3. They also came out with Legend of Mana, which is over on my shelf over there, and then Dawn of Mana. And then they also came out with uh, Sword of Mana on the Game Boy Advance, and I'm sorry, that, that was a remake of this one, and it, personally, I thought it was a big letdown. Uh, the game itself was great, but the the battle system was just... Um, the, the way you leveled up and the way that uh, you had to choose classes just didn't sit right with me because you, it, it almost made you, it's like it forced you to buy a strategy guide instead of just explain, okay, if you do this, this will happen. So, left a bad taste in my mouth. However, these three games, I have played through this one and this one. Unfortunately, I, ha I have yet to find a ROM that I, you know, I can play through this one yet. I have played a bit of this game, but you pretty much need to know Japanese or have a translation in order to, in order to play Secret of Mana 3. Um, supposedly Alpha Omega Sin has one, so uh, you know I'll be playing through it soon, uh, just as soon as I manage to get back over to his house. But um, that's pretty much the Secret of Mana unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, not so much funny as uh, you would expect, but Hey, entertain, uh, you know, entertainment through information. So, there you go. Any other questions at all about anything in my collection, feel free to ask. Rate, comment, subscribe, and have a good night.